Hello, my name is Sylvie and I am part of Data School Cohort 16. Today I'm going to walk you through how to build a histogram in Tableau. A histogram is a great way to look at the distribution of numerical data as it allows you to see the, its shape and spread. For this exercise, I'm looking at 2016 Olympics athlete data. You will find a link to download data in the description if you want to follow along. In this data set, we have the athlete's name and nationality, for example, and what medals they have won, if any. But what I'm interested in seeing is the distribution of the athlete's different heights. First of all, let's have a look at the, in, the individual heights of each athlete. So I'm going to take my height, put it onto columns, and then take ID and put it onto rows. Add members and sort it. So it starts to make a bit more sense. What we can see here is that quite a few athletes have got similar heights. And the idea is to group those heights together. Or as it's called in Tableau, put them into bins. This will allow us to see which height range is most prominent. So I'm going to clear my sheet and start again to actually build my histogram. To do so, I'm going to find my height again under my data pane. Right click onto it, go to create and then go to bins. Here I can select um, or I can type in a different title. I'm going to leave it as is for now. But very importantly, we need to specify the size of our bins. So how do we want to group our different um, heights? By default, Tableau will suggest a bin size, but you can obviously modify it. And I suggest you have a look at the range of values that is described below. So you can see what bin size is most appropriate for your data. Here you can see the minimum, maximum values, difference, and the number of different individual values that you have got in your data set. So here I've got 83 different heights across all of my different athletes. Based on this, I'm going to change the size of my bins and not take what is given to me by default. I'm going to change it to 0 0.1, so that's 10 centimeters because we're working in meters here. Click OK. And now on the left hand side in my data pane, I've got my newly created height bin field, which has got a little histogram icon next to it. So it's very handy to see what this field is useful for. To create my histogram, I'm going to take my height bin, drag and drop it onto my columns. This is going to break down my view by my 12 differently created bins. And then I'm going to take ID, right click and drag onto my rows and then select count. I want to count the number of different IDs, um, different height that I've got depending on the athletes. I've got some nulls in my data set, so I'm just going to right click onto those nulls and exclude so it doesn't clutter my view. And here what I can see is that um, most of my athletes fall into the bin of 1.7. That bin is actually a range of value. So this bin is actually made of a height of ranging from 1.70 to 1.79. If you want greater control over the size of your bins, you can add a parameter to your height bin. If you right click onto your height bin field in your data pane, go to edit, and to the right hand side of size of bins, you've got a little drop down arrow and then you'll just need to select create a new parameter. Here I'm going to leave most of the values by default. I'm going to leave the name by default as well. But what I'm inter interested in mostly is the range of values. So what is going to be my minimum, maximum and step size. I'm going to leave minimum and step size as 0 0.5 or 5 centimeters. I'm just going to change my maximum to um, 0 0.20. That seems like a good uh, amount to me. Click OK and OK again. And now I've got my parameter to the right hand side of my graph and I'm going to click on the drop down arrow just to change the way it's displayed to a slider so it's easier for us to navigate. And from there, what I can do is reduce or increase the size of my bins. So if I reduce it, to 0 0.05, what I'm actually doing is creating more bins. I'm 
widening my spread, essentially. It's not quite clear in my axis, Dave. Uh, so I'm going to change the format of my numbers. So right click on my axis and then format. And I'm going to change it to a number custom. So it has got two decimal places and it's easier for us to see what is actually inside my bins. So what I can see here is that actually most of my athletes fall into the bin of 1.70. So that's between 170 and 174 uh, meters. But what I can do is also increase the size of my bins. And by doing so, I'm actually decreasing the numbers of bins that I've uh, created and making my histogram more compact. But for the purpose of uh, this exercise, I'm actually um, going to leave my bin size to five centimeters as it shows better the spread of my height. And we can see the typical bell-shaped curve of a histogram. Thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video, you'll really like the How to Build a Diverging Stack Chart by my colleague, Jana Subini. Click on the link on the screen to watch it next.